Hi everyone. Today I will be showing you a tutorial that will introduce you to Avogadro, which is a molecular editor. It is a free software and it's also open source, which means if you want to add something to it, it should be pretty straightforward. So in this tutorial, which will be the first of many to follow, I will show around um, the basic tools in Avogadro and also show you around the different web pages of the website where you can download and install the software. The, the, the installation is pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, the website also has a manual and all of my tutorials are going to stick pretty close to the manual and hopefully they'll help in understanding the manual better. And I might probably show a few tricks in some of these tutorials, which may not be mentioned in the manual. And um, those are some things that I find extremely useful. So let's get started. Um, let me first take you to the Avogadro website. So I'm here, all I have to do is type Avogadro. So avogadro.cc is the website where I, you know, look at uh, information related to Avogadro. Like I said, um, Avogadro is a molecular editor and visualizer. So you can visualize molecules in all of these ways, like it's um, shown here. Uh, and here you can see there's the download section, which if you click on it, will direct you to this and you'll be able to download and install the software, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to download that. So the next thing here is the manual, and um, you have like, the, the manual is pretty um, detailed. So in today's tutorial, I'm just going to cover introduction, just show around a little, uh, like talk about the different tools, and uh, tell you how you can save a file and how you can open a file, you know, just getting started with Avogadro. And here, um, there's a place where you can discuss. So all of these conversations here are related to Avogadro and uh, you can ask questions, answer questions, um, you can share things, so it's, it's pretty cool. So you can check this out and if you want to contribute to something, like I said, since Avogadro is open source, you can uh, do it here. You can go through instructions here. And this has this page has some interesting tutorials, for example, some interesting exercises. Uh, sometimes the solution is given, sometimes it's not. I think for maybe this, the solutions there, yes. So you can uh, check out some of these exercises. And if you think uh, some exercises need to be added to this, you can contact this, some any resources or exercises or articles that can that you think would uh, would be very helpful if they were listed here, you can contact um, here, you can contact them and ask them for that. So going back, um, yeah, so the best thing about Avogadro is it's super easy to install. It's extremely straightforward, um, no tricks, no issues. And it's also very, very intuitive to use. So it, it's, it's not like a programming language where you have to learn something um, with effort. This is like pretty straightforward. And the tutorials I'm gonna make will hopefully make it um, easier. So I'll close this and um, uh, this is a folder I have, and there's nothing here. So let me open Avogadro. So this is how Avogadro looks like. Um, it's untitled because there's nothing written. I haven't saved it. And .cml is the, uh, I think it's the chemical markup language. It's a file format for, showing, uh, for storing or saving the um, molecules. I think when you first download and install and open Avogadro, you will probably see a screen that's like this. Um, I'll take you, I'll give you a tour of the tools here. So if you notice, like you, I just need to take my cursor there and place it and it shows draw tool and the short, uh, the, the keyboard uh, command is like F8. And it says like, it tells you how to use it. 
right? So if I go here, it says with left mouse, uh, I just have to click and drag to create atoms and bonds. If I have to delete it, you use the right mouse. If you're on the laptop, just you just click it once and it will draw something. And this is the navigation tool. And again, the instructions are here. So the navigation tool basically helps you to rotate molecules. So if you have a molecule, sometimes you want to visualize it um, by rotating it. By, by rotating it, you're actually getting a better view of the molecule. And uh, the thing with 90 here is the bond centric manipulation tool. So again, you can click and drag to rotate the view and um, it's, it's pretty similar to na the navigation tool, uh, but you can use it to change the angles and bond lengths. I will explain this in one of the later tutorials. And this is the hand tool here. Uh, it's the manipulation tool. So if you wanna simply drag atoms away or closer, uh, you can do it. You just have to like hold, select this and hold on the atom to move around. And the cursor you see here is the selection tool. It's pretty obvious. You just have to um, select any of the atoms and you can just hit delete and they'll be deleted. Or you can select them and then do something only to that section. Like you can only, um, uh, you can maybe fix those atoms or you can like optimize them. So you can do something very specific to a section of atoms that you pick. And this one's the auto rotation tool. Uh, there, there, there isn't anything very specific to that. And the E with the downward arrow is the auto optimization tool. So you click that, um, then you can pick what you want to select, like what force field you want to pick to optimize it. So to optimize a given structure and uh, it helps to it. As you can see, you have a ruler and um, you know, this is basically the measurement tool. So what the measurement tool does is um, you can select up to, you can select two or three um, or four atoms, and then you can get the bond lengths, bond angles, and the dihedral angle when you have like four atoms. So the, the measurement tool basically helps you measure things in the molecule. And um, this is to align uh, molecules, the two arrows thing, like the parallel arrow, uh, arrow tool. Um, you can select up to two atoms and then you can align one um, with respect to the other along the selected axis. So I will talk about this more in the upcoming tutorials, but uh, this is to give you a very general idea about the different kind of tool, different kinds of tools that are there in Avogadro. Now here we have tool settings. So for each tool, you have different settings, right? Um, so for this, you, you have options to pick a force field and so on. And um, for, for the drawing tool, the draw tool where you create atoms, it, it shows you, it gives you different options. You see, these are like some of the atoms, but then if you click on other, you see the entire periodic tables here. So let's say I pick palladium. This, is, this was not there in the element list, but now that I clicked it, you see palladium added there. Now, let me select thallium. And the palladium is still there and now thallium is also added. But let's just go back to carbon. So these are some of the tool settings. So it's not just enough if you have a tool, you need uh, to know how to use it and the tool settings will help you use it. I usually keep this selected. I also keep the display settings selected. And once you select this, the display setting goes on top and you can come here. I think you can probably, yes, you can move these two things around, uh, but I just um, like to uh, keep it in this order. So if you click this, it comes out and um, yeah, and then you just have to like, you can just click this back and um, it'll hopefully come back together. You can get them separate too. So yeah, you can just play around with these um, tools and yeah. So yeah, for the draw tool, you again have like the different display types. So the display settings tell you how to show uh, a given molecule that you wanna draw. For example, like the draw tool is selected and I just click here. Um, as you can see, I have a method molecule. And um, the reason uh, I have a methane molecule here 
instead of just a carbon is because I said add just hydrogens. So now if I remove that and um, try to add something to this, like this, you see the hydrogen atoms are not there, right? Uh, so let me go here and shows a double bond here because I clicked on the bond one more time. Um, so if I click one more time, as you can see, it shows a triple bond, which is totally meaningless. So I'm going to go here and click here. So when you have a single bond, for example, here, um, I click once on the single bond using the draw tool, it becomes a double bond. One more time and it becomes a triple bond. If I want to go back to a single bond, I click once. And um, now if I say adjust hydrogens and try to add another carbon, you see that it adjusts the hydrogens, but it's not great because uh, this carbon has four hydrogens and that's meaningless. So you either like keep it throughout or just don't and um, you add hydrogens by yourself, but I'd like to keep it um, on when I usually do things. Uh, so now that we have a molecule, um, propane, so what we're going to do is, uh, since it's not exactly propane, I'm just going to use the selection tool, select this and hit delete on my keyboard. Um, this looks more like propane. Uh, it's just the geometry is pretty crazy. However, the atoms, the number and the count of different uh, atoms looks pretty good. So what I'm going to show you now is how to save this molecule. So I'm going to go here, file, save or save as, I can, I can hit save. Let me go to Avogadro tutorial, there's nothing here. And I'm just going to type it as propane. So it can, um, in Avogadro you can save files in different formats. I would like to save it as an XYZ file, it's a very standard format to save files. So I save it. And um, if you wanna close it, you just hit the cross. So in, in my terminal, I'm showing you the Avogadro tutorial thing, the same thing here is the window. So here, if I hit ls, I see propane.xyz, which is right here. Now, if you want to open an XYZ file, I just double click it and then it shows it. Of course, it doesn't show the bond here because the bond length is too, too much. Uh, so it doesn't show it, but we, we know what we do it. So that, that's fine. And if you want to open a file through the uh, command line, you just hit open propane.xyz, have an A, Avogadro, sorry, Avogadro. And you can open a file in Avogadro using the, the terminal. So this is how you um, save and open files. And if you want to uh, open file directly from Avogadro, you can just open Avogadro and it opens up. So go to file, open recent. So these are some of the files I've been uh, working with. And in open recent, you see propane, right? So if you hit that, it loads the molecule, propane.xyz. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, which is a very, very basic introduction to Avogadro. In my next tutorial, I will talk um, about how you can draw different molecules, aromatic molecules, aliphatic molecules, uh, molecules with double bonds, triple bonds, um, you know, benzene rings, it's different stuff. So um, I will talk about how we can draw those molecules and how um, we can optimize their structures, probably in the third tutorial. Um, hope you like this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, add them and um, send it in the comments and I'll take a look at them and I will do my best to address all of your concerns. And if you would like me to add more tutorials about anything in particular, feel free to comment that and I will add a tutorial about it.